Okay, hello everybody. Welcome back to the channel. My name is Alan and this is my life in Taiwan. Now, I never thought I'd have to make this video or a video like it, but yesterday while I was in Kaohsiung visiting a friend, I was the victim of what can only be described as a mildly racist verbal attack. No doubt in light of the recent news that a foreign pilot had entered Taiwan with coronavirus and transmitted it to a Taiwanese local. Now, I didn't catch this incident on camera, but as I was standing in a park waiting for my Uber to arrive, an elderly Taiwanese guy walked past and said very clearly in Taiwanese something that I immediately recognized as a racist statement followed by something I didn't really understand. But when I turned to my friend I was with, I could see from her face that she was visibly shocked at what she just heard. Uh, I asked her to record what the guy had said, and here it is in her Taiwanese. And for anybody that doesn't understand, that means this fucking foreigner not wearing a mask. Uh, now, I don't want to make this issue any bigger than it needs to be, and of course I don't have any evidence of the incident, so it's up to you whether you believe me or not. But the point of this video is just to please ask anyone watching to deal with situations like this much, much more gracefully. I wasn't wearing a mask as I was eating food from the market I just visited, and when I got into the Uber, I had my mask on as is required. If the gentleman in question had approached me calmly and asked me or my Taiwanese friend why I wasn't wearing a mask, he would have gotten a simple, polite explanation and I would have immediately put my mask on to placate him. So, this is what I'm asking people to do. If you see someone without a mask, uh, foreigner or not, maybe offer them a clean one, a spare one if you have one. Uh, give them the international sign language for mask if you don't know how to speak English. Uh, or if you want to avoid any difficult situation, just move away and avoid any interaction with that person. All over the world, Asian people have been getting attacked and racially abused by Westerners, and it's made me feel sick to read about. Truly embarrassed by my fellow Western people's idiotic behavior, and I was so happy to be in Taiwan away from all that bullshit, but it seems that there is still a small minority of uninformed or bigoted locals here that have adopted a prejudice towards foreigners based upon the actions of one individual. Uh, and I have to say that I was more shocked than I was offended by this guy yesterday. And as a YouTuber, I've kind of built up uh, thick skin to this kind of thing. But a more vulnerable or sensitive foreigner might not take it so lightly. And will take this opinion of Taiwan back to their home country and spread negative sentiments about our beautiful country. So my message in this video is simple. Uh, please remember that the world is watching Taiwan and our amazing response and adequacy in the way that we have dealt with this virus has been a model for the whole world to see. So let's not let the team down with poor examples like this. Uh, masks are not really in short supply anymore. So as I said, carrying an extra one and sharing it with a foreigner who may be none the wiser is the perfect way to show the Taiwanese spirit of caring and sharing whilst also eliminating this problem peacefully. As for me not wearing a mask, I will be much, much more careful to show that I do have a mask in the future. Uh, even while eating or drinking in public, I think I should have perhaps just pulled my mask down or even had it on my arm for everyone to see. Um, as I can truly imagine how frustrating it might be for a Taiwanese person to see a non-masked foreigner in public after last week's news. Uh, but as I said, this will be a short video, so I'll leave it with one question to you guys, and that's going to be, how do you deal with someone who isn't wearing a mask? Uh, and do you treat foreigners and Taiwanese people differently if you see them unmasked in public? Uh, I'd really love to get your opinions in the comment section down below, so please let me know. As I mentioned earlier, please don't think too much about this or take too much offense on my behalf. Let's just keep this positive Taiwanese spirit and face this problem together as one. Foreigners or Taiwanese, we should all be proud of our strength and performance in reaction to this crisis. Um, I'm really, really proud to live in Taiwan and seeing Taiwan on the world news and seeing how other countries are kind of jealous of the way we've dealt with it is something that really makes me proud. And this incident yesterday that I experienced um, was just left a bit of a sour taste in my mouth after so much uh, positivity. I really hope that it's an isolated incident and nobody else is, um, is thinking like this or treating uh, foreigners any differently just because of uh, the actions of one um, rather careless and stupid uh, pilot that brought the virus into the country. I think that's everything I want to say. I hope this video doesn't cause anybody offense. I'm not here to vilify anybody. Um, 
I just wanted to share my experience and hope that something positive can come from it. So I think I'm going to wrap the video up now. Time to say goodbye. Thanks for watching, guys. But as for now, and as always, I'll see you next time in my life in Taiwan. Peace.